Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I have another uh, Marvel Select uh, figure set here. This is Cloak and Dagger. Uh, this is one that I've wanted for a long time. Um, it's one of those, um, you know, both of these figures I don't think are ever going to be released in the Marvel Legends line. Um, doesn't mean they won't, but I don't, I don't think they'll do it. So, um, you know, if Marvel Select for me was the way to go. Um, you know, they might be a little bit big in the Marvel Legends line, but uh, yeah, I think they'll fit in okay. Very cool. Got both of them in there. Very awesome. On the back, get a closer look at the two together. It's got like a picture of the comic. And I really loved Cloak and Dagger as a kid. I used to uh, read a lot of the comics. And a couple other uh, figures. He's got the uh, Days of Future Past Wolverine and uh, Spider Woman with those little Hydra soldiers, which is kind of cool. Anyways, this is uh, made by Diamond Select Toys, but it's kind of weird. It actually says Toy Biz's name on the back, if you guys can read that right there. That's kind of strange. But, anyways, it was in uh, 2006. So let's take a quick break and we'll get these two out of the package. Alright guys, and I'm back with Cloak and Dagger. Um, pretty cool looking. Uh, a little strange. I knew I knew how it was because I've seen this out of the package before. Um, kind of weird how this comes. If I can get this off. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at her first dagger. Um, she comes with this uh, pretty cool looking little blast here. Just clips around her little skinny wrist. Very cool. It's got a little bit of blue on top, mostly white. It's got some blue brushed in on the blades as well. Very cool. Nice little addition. I didn't, um, I'd never seen that piece before. I didn't realize that she came with that. Um, but the figure herself, uh, pretty nice. A uh, little weird. Like her feet are all like arched. So, I mean. Probably not going to stand too well on her own. And it looks like you might be able to kind of get her to stand there. She's standing on her own right now. Um, kind of strange though. A measurement on her. She's only six inches tall. So that's really nice. That'll fit nicely with Marvel Legends. Um, you know, our articulation is a little different, but not bad. Um, while Cloak is about eight inches tall, but that's fine. That, that doesn't bother me at all. That's a, a good size. But get a closer look at detail on her. It looks pretty nice. She's got like the white that goes around her eye. Looks pretty cool. Got her little necklace there. Her stomach doesn't really match up. That's kind of weird. Like the way this is angled, it matches up like just by the waist, like this. But if you can see, her skin doesn't match up. So if you do it like that, then the waist. It's got this kind of little ledge right there. That's kind of weird. Very cool. She's got a nice uh, paint wash on her. She's white and got some blue in it. Um, it's not too much, but it looks good. Hair looks pretty good. It's really big, but looks good. Articulation on her. She has a ball jointed head. Goes up and down very nicely and goes side to side. Uh, she does have a ball jointed shoulder, a single jointed elbow. And her wrists are actually stationary, that's kind of weird. And then of course she swivels at the waist. She does have uh, ball jointed hips, but they, they're they really not great hips, they don't really do a lot. Um, single jointed knees, and back and forward pivot at the foot. Um, but not too bad. Pretty much what I expected, but very nice. Let's just go ahead and get her out of the way, and look at Cloak. Um, kind of unique, if you can see there's actually not a figure here. Uh, kind of weird. Um, what it is is uh, it's got this little base that stands, goes up, and it's basically a flight stand. Um, this piece does come out, which is a pain in the ass to get out. It sits in there really nicely so it doesn't fall out. Um, but it sits in, it's got the same kind of uh, mechanism that the uh, Toy Biz flight stands have. You tighten it, you tighten the little joints on the side. Very cool. And of course, this plugs into a uh, Dagger's back. You can see there's a little peg there. But very cool. He does have a head, of course. It's a little big. 
Um, like if you compare heads to her, I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but his head's just kind of on the big side, but it's not bad. I mean, it's inside his cloak, so it doesn't look terrible or anything. See his little medallion there. And the cloak itself looks just badass. I know it's really not showing up on my camera at all, but uh, it's got like blue and black in there. It just looks really good. I like blue and black together. It makes a good, uh, cool looking cloak. A lot of nice shadowing in it. Very awesome. <clears throat> so uh, really the only complaint I have is uh, this little stand thing. It's kind of doesn't really rest on the stand very well. I mean, it sits up, it's not going to fall over or anything, it's just, um, if you can see I'm kind of rocking, it doesn't really sit flat. The front of the stand's right here, just lift it up off the thing. Um, that's probably just a problem with mine. Um, I doubt that every single one of them has that problem, but uh, kind of annoying. No big deal. Um, but definitely a cool set to have. Um, usually with the Marvel Selects, I like to pick up ones that either are good in scale with Marvel Legends or ones that you're not going to get in the Marvel Legends line. And I'm not guaranteeing that these aren't going to come out in the Marvel Legends. Uh, it just seems kind of weird that they... I don't know how Hasbro would do a cloak, you know. So I, I just decided to get this. Um, definitely a cool set and it'll fit in nicely. So that was the Cloak and Dagger. Thanks for checking them out.